Hello guys, this is the Retro Guy. So uh, today I'm going to try to fix this uh, TV set here. It, uh, it's working fine, but there is a problem with um, magnetism. So essentially this, um, this corner here, again, you see when I turn on, is, uh, it's reddish. If I'm not mistaken, it is reddish, which means that uh, at some point it got magnetized. Um, I don't know if I left it uh, like a, a magnet uh, around the area or I don't know. It's just because the TV is old. I have no idea. So I tried uh, several ways to get rid of this issue. So I'm going to show you the state that this is right now. So I'm going to turn on my MSX here. You can't see it very much because it's in the corner. But um, anyways, the important thing here is the TV set, right? So the TV screen precisely. So let's turn it on. So this is a Sony Trinitron um, 14 inches screen. I rebuilt this TV from scratch a while ago. I was using it with my Amiga, uh, not Amiga, the Atari ST. It was working great with it. Um, then I moved to Portugal and uh, tested again now using my MSX and I noticed this, uh, this problem here with the color. So let me just go into video mode here, there. And so I'm going to power on the MSX and we should be able to see, you see right there, it's very visible in the, in the video here. So let me just put the volume down. Yeah. So let's wait for the MSX to boot and um, I'm going to change the screen color so we can basically see it a little bit better. So it's actually the other way around. So it's color 15, comma, 4. So there you go, like the blue screen, typical for an MSX computers. Again, very clear here, the, the problem uh, with the screen. I try using magnets to try to see if I could clear this up. It didn't work, so I still have some spots here. Not sure if it's visible on the video, but there are some spots here as well and here. So it's uh, a little bit messy, the, the color on this particular screen. Not only the color, but um, I think it's also a little distorted as well. So uh, look it up on the internet. I was trying to find out a solution to that. This TV, unfortunately, doesn't have a degaussing system built into it, which means I need to, to do it uh, externally. So looking it up, uh, trying to find a cheap solution to this i wasn't uh expecting to you know uh, pay a lot of money to fix a very old tv it's, it will be cheaper to buy a new one uh well, not new but uh, another one uh here in portugal i can easily find something similar to this model here for around like 20 euros right so um it's not like that expensive i really like this one because it's already cleaned and i did a lot of work on it so i wanted to keep it right but if it doesn't work then well I can just go for another one. So, uh, doing a little research on the net, I came up with uh, this here, right? So this is a degaussing uh, bar, essentially. As you can see, it's Chinese, like pretty much everything else that you buy nowadays on the net. Uh, I have no idea whether or not this will work, right? So it, uh, it arrived today, I haven't tested yet. So I'm just uh, doing this video so we can do it together. This came from this store here in Spain. So it's uh, Arcade Express. Uh, it arrived fairly um, fast. So maybe what, like uh, four, four days after I ordered it uh, using eBay. And it cost me only 11 euros. So it's a very cheap kind of solution, right? So a sip of coffee here. Mm. Great. So let's see together right whether or not this works so let's open this box let's do an unboxing here together I don't think it's going to be a lot of stuff inside uh, so there is a little adapter here for the European outlets and well it's heavy I can tell you that so uh, no instructions or anything. Uh, from what I read, 
um, on their website from the, the guy that is selling this, this Arcade Express website. Essentially, uh, they, they recommend that you don't leave this on for more than 10 seconds because it becomes quite, uh, quite hot. Not sure if it's a good thing or not. Uh, but, uh, you know, what the heck, let's just give it a shot and see. So I'm going to use the adapter here because this is the US uh, plug, isn't it? I think. So let's just plug this in. All right, so it's a perfect fit. Well, I have to say the finishing is quite nice. Again, with most things that you buy nowadays from China, uh, you know, the quality is, is not bad, to be honest. Uh, I have bought a lot of stuff from China recently and most of the things that I buy normally has a fairly decent uh, quality, so really not that bad. So I'm trying to see if I find an outlet here that I can use. Yes, I have a 220 here. So um, there is here, right? Uh, as you can see, this guy here, not this, this is a floppy disk, but this here is um, basically a, a voltage converter. Uh, from 20, 220 to 110, which is essentially what this MSX here uses. And I have a free outlet there that is 220, so I'm just going to plug this in there and hope for the best. Okay, so it's in. Um, so from the instructions, right, uh, what they say is you need to keep pressing this button here and just go in circular um, a movement here, right? and then always uh, going farther and farther and uh, that should clear the problem. So I don't know whether or not this is going to work. Not very excited about it, to be honest. I'm not uh, very hopeful, not excited, not very hopeful. I, I am excited, but not very hopeful about it. So I'm going to press the button. So let me just press it. Let me get <laughs> the floppy disk away from this, right? Uh, maybe it's for the best, yeah. I don't know how powerful this is. Uh, so if I let's put it on the table and press it, I don't want to be electrified. Uh, yeah, it's fairly, fairly uh, potent this. You see that when I press it here, it's started to shake the shaking this screen here. Not sure if it's because it's connected to the same uh, transformer. It, it could be. Uh, let me see if I can find another outlet here. Maybe, maybe I should use another outlet, just maybe. So let me try to do the right thing here, right? So I do have other outlets on the back here. And I'm just going to use one of the spare outlets that I have here. So we can also validate whether or not this, uh, this what we saw was an interference from the electromagnetic field that this thing generates or if that was an interference from the transformer. Okay, so it's on. So let me just press the button again, uh, away from the screen, right? Not so away, but not directly at the screen. Yeah, this thing is powerful. Uh, a little bit worried because I have a lot of floppy drives, uh, floppy disks and floppy drives here, right? So I have a floppy drive here and uh, not sure whether or not this can affect them so I might just move my floppy disks away from this thing, just as a precaution, right? Well, actually right below here, damn, I have a lot of hard drives as well. Um, so now I'm a little worried that maybe I should not be using this so close to other computers and stuff. Uh, apparently the magnetic uh, field that these things generate is huge, right? You can see that the TV got all messed up just by pressing the button here. It's not even like in, in line with the TV or anything. It's not far away. It's relatively close, of course, but still, uh, yeah, I don't want to damage the computers here. So yeah, maybe what I would do is just move these computers that I have down here, um, to a safe place, yeah. So you guys are not seeing it, but let me see if I can just show you there. So down here, right? This is from my collection. I have this uh, Mac. 
I have this old uh, Windows 98 PC that is working flawlessly. And also this other monitor here. This is a Sony Trinitron monitor. This uh, doesn't worry me too much. But, and then in here, I have a whole bunch of uh, software and floppy disks, as you guys can see. So it's very close by, right? Um, so probably not the best of ideas to run this thing so close. So I'm going to have to move those. So this is basically the MSX that I'm using, right? So let me just adjust this thing here so you guys can see the screen, which is what really matters. Well, on the bright side, I'm a little more hopeful now that this thing could actually work. So let's just skip this shot for there. I'm going to be talking with you guys while I am moving those computers here. Okay, so the Mac is... And now the desktop PC here. It's not desktop, it's a tower. It's very heavy, this gateway tower. It's an amazing PC, by the way. It's really nice. Okay. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I'm going to put some stuff in between here, maybe to create some protection. It's more psychological than anything else. But anyways, just to keep it a little safer, right? And now I have to move those floppy disks here. Shoot. Yeah, so this is not going to work because I have a whole bunch of those there. So it's going to be a lot of work and uh, wasn't prepared for that. To be honest, I wasn't prepared for this thing here to work at all. Like, I uh, wasn't expecting this to be so strong and uh, actually work. So, yeah, I don't want to power this up again and risk, like, uh, you know, wasting all those floppy disks that I have around here. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video for now. And I'm going to see if I can... do this in some other place maybe so I'm going to just uh, move this TV to another place do it without uh, an actual image on it because I'm not going to move the, the computer and everything else um, if I do that uh, with the computer close uh, also like a risk damaging the the floppy disk reader so I don't want to do that or floppy disk reader <laughs> floppy drive right yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you uh, the, 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 this thing working on the TV while it's away from everything else. Then we come back here and we see whether or not this worked, right? I'm very confident this might. Okay, so the TV now is in this bench that has nothing that can be affected by the electromagnetic field generated by this thing here, this degaussing uh, bar, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do the thing and uh, we're not going to be able to see anything because this TV doesn't produce any signal if there is nothing connected to it. Uh, I'm not going to connect anything to it uh, just because uh, for the sake of the equipment, right? So let's do this and then we are going to uh, run the test again, right? So uh, pressing, starting pressing the button now, so no more than 10 seconds, right? So press. Circular movements and away and done. That's it. So now I'm going to bring back the computer. It's going to mount it on this bench here. Should be easy enough. And then we test it and see whether or not it got 
Okay, now the TV set is connected to the computer again, to the MSX. So let's power the MSX on and see whether or not that resolved our issue. Still have some discoloration here. It's much better than it was before, but still got some redness in there. But it looks so much better now. So let's do the color thing, 15 comma four. Yeah, definitely much, much better. See that here, you have like a dark spot, right? I think it's visible on the video. And up here, it's still like a little bit red. So I'm going to do it again from here. Let's hope it doesn't affect the floppy drive. Okay, so we can see the magic working right one two three oops maybe I should turn it on power it on I have to say this thing uh, got really really warm to be honest so that's why you shouldn't uh, keep it on for more than 10 seconds right so close and go mm, that's really beautiful isn't it okay bit better but I still see like a spot here like there is a little spot so let me try to turn it off and on again this is the IT crowd way now I still seeing the spot definitely better though All right so maybe I will try it once more Yeah, I can't get rid of this, this spot here. Let me try something. Well, that's it, it's gone. Yeah, apparently it's gone. Yeah, that seems to have fixed the issue now. So let's just Try it again. There we go. Yeah. Looks clean to me. Looks so much better now. All right, no spots or anything. Okay. That is a success to me. So, yeah, so I'm going to be putting the information about this on the blog, right? So the link to the product. And so if there is anyone else interested, you guys can go and find one.